today for history, we're going to be beginning on page 123, halfway down the page, but the first thing we need to do is review the Northeast region because this will be on your quiz tomorrow and we'll keep reviewing the Southeast region. All right, Northeast region. Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Delaware. Meriwether Lewis and William Clark. A man who 
use his talents. Thomas Jefferson was a man of many talents. He studied nature, designed the portable rain dash, wrote the Declaration of Independence, and helped to govern our country. Remember, he was second vice president and third president. Uh, um, Thomas Jefferson was also an architect. An architect is a person who draws plans for a building. He designed his own big, beautiful house on a hilltop in Charlottesville, Virginia. He called it Monticello, which means little mountain in Italian. Thomas knew that the young people of a free country would someday make important decisions by voting. Young people need a good education. He was the founder and architect of the University of Virginia. So that means he designed the buildings. When it was built, he helped to choose the men who would teach in the new college. He also helped to choose the books that the students would use. But the most important thing that he designed was not a house, a school, or a desk. It was something much greater. It was the Declaration, Declaration of, of Independence. Independence, the document that says our freedom and rights are from God and that no ruler can take them away from us. Turn the page. All right. So the first picture you see at the top, that is Monticello. Somebody said they went to see it. Who said that? Jonathan, you went to see that? It's mm -hmm. beautiful. It's a beautiful house. Wow. And he designed it. He drew the plans for that house. And at the bottom, it says Jefferson Memorial. That's in Washington, D.C. And you can go there. And in the middle is the statue of Thomas Jefferson. So how many of you have ever been to see that? Okay. All right. Let's do the comprehension test. What three rights of Americans does the Declaration of Independence say are given by God? They are life, liberty, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Of happiness. Three rights the Declaration gives are given by God. Life, life liberty, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. On what date was the Declaration of Independence accepted? July 4th, 1776. We've already had this, so you should know that by now, because we already had it on another test already, didn't we? How many men signed their names to the bottom, at the bottom of the Declaration of Independence? 56. 56. 56. Um, in what city was the Declaration of Independence first read to the people? Philadelphia. Philadelphia, very good. What did Thomas Jefferson suggest the United States use for money? Dollar bills and coins. Dollar bills and coins, just like we still use today. And what was Thomas Jefferson's large purchase of land called? Louisiana Territory. Yeah, the Louisiana Purchase. It was the Louisiana Territory that they purchased, but it's the Louisiana Purchase was the name. Turn the page. This time you have A, B, or C. President Jefferson purchased the Louisiana Territory from France. France. B. France. Very good. An architect is a person who draws plans for buildings. Which building was not designed by Thomas Jefferson? B. B. The White House. House. Very good. B. The White House. Because he did Monticello and he did the University of Virginia. All right. Because Mr. Jefferson knew young people needed a good education, he became the founder of University, University of Virginia. Virginia. Very good. B. University of Virginia. And Thomas Jefferson is best remembered as the blank of the Declaration of Independence. A. a author. author. Very good. A. Author. By the way, that is the last chapter we're going to read before the test. So we are ready to start reviewing. Let's review for the quiz you're going to take tomorrow. All right. Because of information gathered by this person, America won the final battle of the war for independence. James Armstrong. Yes, James Armstrong. You can blurt. I'm okay with that. Okay. Who is the author of the Declaration of Independence? Thomas, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson. Okay, you should be paying attention as I'm drilling and reviewing for the quiz that we're going to have tomorrow. Okay? So whatever you're doing, stop and listen to me. Yes, ma'am? All right. During the War for Independence, this person gathered secret information about the British troops. James Armstead. What is a person who collects information secretly from the enemy? Spies! Spies! Yeah, guys. Just say it. Um, the Second Continental...
of Congress decided that America would form an army and they wanted this person to be the leader? George, George Washington. 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 Um, Thomas Jefferson was founder and architect of the yes. University of Virginia. Who was third president of the United States? Thomas, Thomas Jefferson. Jefferson. Um, president Thomas Jefferson purchased this Doubling the size of the United States. Louisiana Purchase. Or Louisiana Territory. Either way, you need to know it when you see Louisiana Purchase or Louisiana Territory, you need to know it. A person who draws plans for a building. Architect. And the Declaration of Independence states that men have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We're saying the pursuit of happiness, just in case some of you are not saying that. Sometimes it does not sound like somebody's saying the pursuit of happiness. All right, and then you need to know your Northeast region states. Mm -hmm. Yes? Um, did you know New York was the first capital of the... the um, I did, and then after that it was Philadelphia. No. no, and then after that it became Washington, D.C. 